So we got up early, earlier than we thought, out of the Wigwam <laughs> Motel and uh, had breakfast again over at uh, Joe and Aggie's. And uh, just a few miles down the road from that is Winslow. And just like the Eagles song, there is standing on the corner of Winslow, Arizona with the, the girl on the flatbed Ford and everything. So it looks like there's a whole bunch of people taking pictures here and we're gonna jump in here when we can and get this done. So we listen to Take It Easy right before uh, right before we got here, so the kids would understand the reference. So, song power, huh? Oh, we gotta get we gotta get flat. Is that the other flat? Oh, this is Flat Jack the Third. <laughs> so, Winslow, Arizona. You got the girl in the flatbed Ford. There's a there's an Eagles reference that looks like newer paint, and then you got uh, out of the seven women, uh, one that wants to hold them right there. Boy, we got so many pennies, so many pennies, so little time. Some of your close friends. <laughs> come here hey come on bring it home Good job. that's we're not splitting the profit no no we ain't going there <laughs> nice try, oh that's funny So we just finished on the corner of Winslow, Arizona, which that's a cute little, it's just a really cute little area that they, you can tell that the, the city is trying to put some money into redoing. There's a little bit more parking now and things like that. There was a street musician, just kind of a, a nice little area um, to be in. So that was a fun stop for us on Route 66. So we're fixing to get back on 40, but this has been a good little stop. The reason we're doing this trip is for little stops like that, so it's a good thing. What's next, kids? Meteor Crater. That's right. As we're about 30 miles down the road from the Meteor Crater, and we'll be stopping there. All right. Right next to Winslow, the very next stop headed west, is the Meteor Crater. I was last year in 1980, when I was eight years old. Levi is Are now... Are you my age? Yes. Levi is now eight years old. Like you, when you're my age? Yeah. So we experienced this at the same age. This should be fun. Take a photo for that. Okay. Same. Go pro, take a photo. <laughs> <laughs>
picking the right one. Put up with your brother and sister about another 90 years. <laughs> says don't forget Winona. They they forgot to pave it. Yeah. So or something happened or somebody bought it. I don't know. There's been several sections that have pieces of the road that are on private land now. And some of that is Indian reservations. You're not you couldn't get on it if you wanted to. So right. that's okay. We're trying to stay again true to the spirit of the whole thing as much as we can. So there we go. On our way to Williams, Arizona then to the observatory, hopefully tonight, depending on the cloud coverage, which right now seems to be a lot of cloud coverage. And then um, to the Grand Canyon tomorrow. That's, how it's looking about. That's what we're talking about. So the Lowell Observatory has been in existence for 125 years. Almost as old as Granddad. Can't wait to check this out. We're right out here. Because as you can see, it just returned to the hey, gaseous state. Gross. There's not much of anything here. As you can see, there's no stains, <laughs> nothing. So it's just nitrogen from this gaseous state. Traveling 700 million miles an hour. 
Is that light really want to see? You can't see it now? Oh, I can see it now. You must okay. have nudged it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Do you want to look at it? It's so tiny. Yeah. That's the second brightest star in this guy. Oh, wow. What's the brightest? The brightest is Sirius. The dog star follows, uh, follows Orion. Levi, yeah, your turn. Your turn. This is a telescope you can't knock off track. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's a big guy. Can you see anything? Oh, sweet. You have the right eye relief. Can you see anything? What is it? <laughs> what is it? Look at it again. That's a star. What do you think? Alright. Love it. Love it. What was the name of the star? Arcturus. Come on, buddy. So, this observatory, this whole area is just super beautiful. It's uh, nestled in the mountains, some of the smaller mountains by Flagstaff. And we're here right at uh, sunset and it's just, uh, it's pretty. It's super pretty. So we're about to watch a, uh, a brief about Pluto and uh, we'll see how that works out. This was the solar system. This is the solar system I learned in school. Right? You got all the planets that are on a plane out to Neptune, and then you've got Pluto, and yeah, its orbit's a little wonky, and yeah, sometimes it goes inside the orbit of Neptune, yeah, it's a little guilty, but that's fine. There's one in every family, right? It's totally cool, it's whatever. And that was fine until 1992, when we started to stop. Um, this was built 123 years ago. And they, and they had the... the <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. 123 1893. They could polish those wings. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it there and catch the dome up. All right, so now we have to move the dome just to catch up a little bit. Uh, we'll be a little loud, so be prepared. Levi, it's going to get a little loud, okay? He's going to... But it's okay. I'm going to cover my ears. You, you can cover, cover your ears, ears if you fine. want to. <laughs>
have to turn off the lights in here. I'm so scared. Don't be scared. We'll leave some of the lights on. Amazing. Uh, so we can kind of see a little better. You can look at either eye. We need to get moving because they were nice enough to do this. So we need to be. Okay. All right. My sister have a turn. Oh, we got my sister. Yeah. Pixie, your turn. I'm gonna have to hold you up, girl. I love your sparkle. I know. Did you see it? No. You should see just little dots in the middle. A bunch of them. A little tricky. A little tricky. Oh no, it's okay. I mean. You can see it exactly like you described it. It's like a gray kind of background with the dots. Oh my god! It's pretty, isn't it? So Lily has finished her book. The average takes like three hours, and I did it in one. I finished. Right on! Check it out. Okay, I have to check. I'm sure you're not lying. No, I know you're not lying, but I still want to see what you did. So it's interesting. Oh, cool. Look, at you did all of this. No one ever does all of this. Awesome. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is before I give you all the goodies and the cool stuff that makes you a junior astronomer, we're going to have to say a pledge, okay? Okay. So you ready? So right hand up like this. Repeat after me. I, as a Lowell Observatory. I, as a Lowell Observatory. Observatory. Junior astronomer. Junior astronomer. Promise to keep looking up. Promise to keep looking up. Keep light pollution low. Keep light pollution low. Continue learning. Continue learning. About the world around us. About the world around us. Find my place in the expanding universe. Find my place in the expanding universe. Enjoy science. Enjoy science. And space out. And space out. Right on. Good job. Yep. There you go. And also, you get a super cool junior astronomer badge. You can put on pretty much anything, a bag, a hat, a jacket. Oh, cool. I kind of want one myself. There you are. And I'm going to give you, like, <laughs> awesome. Well, good job. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, for sure. Good job. Dude. I love this. It's like Disneyland, but for space. <laughs>